After the eviction, Mexican authorities demolished the Tijuana migrant camp, damaging tents, clothes, households, items, and furniture. This migrant camp that has been here for more than a year, and now the government, the federal government of Mexico, in, uh, and also with the municipal police, with the National Guard and the Institute of National Immigration, have taken the decision to remove and relocate this migrant camp. We have asked several migrants that they already been relocated and removed. How many families, how many migrant families they are in there? Uh, we heard the quantity of 300 migrants, but they are saying that there's more than 300 migrants. Many immigrants, mostly from Central America across Mexico, to seek asylum in the United States in the face of violence and poverty in their country. Along the way, many of them fall victim to organized crimes or to the grip of the Mexican authorities, who have stepped up their operations to combat the migrant flow. The number of immigrants arriving in the United States decreased significantly during the first phase of the COVID-19 pandemic, but began to rise later in 2020 before escalating since U.S. President Joe Biden took office in January of last year. The migrants were told that they would be allowed to bring three pieces of clothing to the shelters provided by the Mexican government, but no extra items.